Welcome back to Entrepreneurship Tuesday. Thank you for staying tuned for C7. Uh, the time frame we are in our second hour. Remember, try to follow channel is where you can find us across all our social media platform at Michelle Shiro is where you can reach out to me. So head on to our Facebook page. We have a question for you. So the question is, which business do you think is just a waste of time and will make losses or zero profits anyway so i would like to hear from you and what are your thoughts so head on to our facebook page that is at y254 channel follow me across all my social media platform that is at y oh uh, sorry <laughs> at michelle Ashira. so our next conversation is matters pertaining uh, cyber attack okay cyber attack and many organizations simply think when they install the the most recent technologies just to to curb uh you know cyber security then they are all offset well good and they can go on with their businesses and uh, that might not be true uh today we're talking about ethical hacking and in studio i have samuel Silowski who will be speaking more on this so no further ado i'll let him introduce himself <laughs> <laughs> so hi my name is samuel Silowski. i'm okay. an ethical hacker mm -hmm. uh basically i just hack systems mm -hmm. oh just say <laughs> hack system i'm just really feel all goosebumps around <laughs> anyway so <laughs> Tell us what is all about ethical hacking because you know hackers and there's always negative energy when mm. we hear electro elect electronic fraud all around stories have actually flied around and mm. we have now a recent one where it's happening in Kiambu mm. where actually the three people who have done an electronic fraud like simply just you know yeah. there's always negative energy when you speak about hacking let's talk about ethical hacking now what's ethical hacking basically it's just hacking but with authorizations all right yeah. so uh -huh. before we we hack a system we have to get authorization uh -huh. from uh -huh. the company that uh -huh. straight so that they can give us access uh -huh. to their system uh -huh. and uh, basically it's just detecting their flaws their security flaws the more security flaws they have the, the more hackers the other hackers the black hackers can be able to sabotage the whole company oh really yeah okay so who is eligible or credible enough mm. to conduct a pen test which is simple same thing with ethical hacking yeah. yes uh, basically people who studied IT let me no, no, let me say generally because <laughs> I, I realized you, uh -huh. you can't just study ethical hacking you can't study hacking it's something you can't you can go to school you can uh -huh. do your things but the problem is there is no unit somewhere yeah, there are in units, IT but uh -huh. You can't explain the class environment with mm -hmm. the world environment. Okay. Because in the world environment, you'll have so many antiviruses, mm -hmm. the programs, but you have to actually bypass it. In school, you just talk it theoretically. So mm -hmm. you don't actually have the practical ability mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. So in general, okay, a hacker, the best, the person who can actually do it right, let me say, it's not a newbie. It's not a newbie. Number one, it's not a newbie. Mm -hmm. But somebody who has uh, a bit of experience in systems, in Windows system, Linux mm -hmm. system, all environments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have one of the greatest hackers of all time, yeah. Kevin Mit Mitnick. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, so so there was a question uh, that he was asked, and in spite of having easy access to credit cards, social security numbers, and uh, pro property software, so he never, never mm -hmm. tried mm -hmm. to steal any, but he, could, he was in that position. So I'd like to find out, have you been in that position where you, there's easy access? Yes. Is the access that you can just walk away with all this, all this money, you know, like, and from there you've just made it in life? Honestly, yes. <laughs> Have you been in that situation? Yes. And how, like, how did you uh, handle that? Like a uh, hundred times. Huh? Mm -hmm. you know, funny thing I, I realized that we don't actually have secure systems. Okay. All, all systems can be hacked. Mm -hmm. Even if you create a new one today, it's still going to be hacked in the next uh, few minutes, like Zoom. Mm -hmm. Zoom was created in a secure environment. Uh, a few months later, it was breached. Mm -hmm. I think I have over a million, a million plus user accounts for Zoom. Mm -hmm. It's all listed in the dark web, so getting mm -hmm. is actually easy. Mm -hmm. So basically, there's no secure systems. For example, a banking system, mm -hmm. you, can du you can create a duplicate of the mm -hmm. original that people may click on it. You can get their username, mm -hmm. the password, you log in, you mm -hmm. withdraw their funds, and you're good to go. Okay. Yeah. So I would like to find out. Mm -hmm. Because you first when you started off, you mentioned there's no any uh, secure system, secure system, yeah. and then you earlier on you mentioned that there's no education per se, like uh, about ethical hacking. Yeah. It's something that comes out of interest. Yeah. I'd like to find out where did the the hacking aspect? How how did you get uh, curious? How did you get interested in hacking? Because you studied IT. Yeah. Uh, my curiosity started when, in high school. Let me say, 
uh, we were not given access to Wi-Fi. So it got me curious. I really needed that Wi-Fi. So I started Googling, doing the things to actually discover ways to actually get the Wi-Fi. Because I used to have a phone, I guess. Mm -hmm. I think that's illegal to say. I used to have a phone in high school. So, uh, you had it? an illegal mind for me in the back end. Yes. <laughs> so, but there are classes that are legit uh -huh. with, with uh, ethical class and practicability. Mm -hmm. That's OCP, that is offensive security, okay. blah, 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 and a few others. But the main thing is um, my curiosity started then in high school when I wanted to get access to the wife, teacher's Wi Fi. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and here comes you. you go. He went to uni, yeah. studied IT, yeah. and then uh, Samuel, uh, you came up with uh, with your own consultancy firm, yes. uh, Siloeski. Is this Samuel Siloeski? It's Sky Family. Sky Family. Yes. So it does. Oh, okay. So it's two combination of your names. That yes. Is. Okay. So, yeah. what does your company offer now? My company. Or what does it give back to uh, the society? To, yeah, to the society, your clients. Mm. What does it all entail? Our giving back to the community. First, we have a YouTube channel whereby we teach. Hacking, mm -hmm. it's still Sky Family Consultancy. Mm -hmm. We teach ethical hacking from basics, from a newbie perspective, mm -hmm. for information gathering. And mm -hmm. then, uh, when it comes to the company, it's all business. Okay. It's all business. Um, our work is to test your security. If you're secure enough, mm -hmm. well and good, we'll give you a report. Mm -hmm. If you're not secure, we're going to give you a report of all the mm -hmm. loopholes we've discovered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, don't, don't you feel? Like, do you? Is there any regulation? Because mm -hmm. uh, some people can use that mm -hmm. for for the wrong reasons. Because you we mentioned that you're actually uh, teaching guys mm. on YouTube channel. Yeah. Don't you feel like uh, I'm gonna re are there regulations? Yes, where we have. You we always give a that caution. Okay. Caution that whatever you say, do not use it for illegal mm -hmm. means, but find a good way to use it. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so there are some uh, pen testing companies uh, which uh, give uh, mis uh, representation of the actual services yeah. that they offer. They'll say that they provide the penetration test and they actually give the, you know, the vulnerability scan. Yes, yeah. So what is the difference of the two? Penetration test and vulnerability. Yes. In vulnerability, it's like using a software to mm. just find out. It won't dig in. Okay. For penetration testing, you actually mm. physically do it. Okay. You no, know, step by step until mm. you actually find the loopholes. Mm. But in vulnerability, there's a, there's a mm. tool called Nessus. Mm -hmm. Nessus just scans. It's just kind of like an antivirus. It scans mm -hmm. your system for any loopholes and then mm. gives you feedback. Yeah. Okay. So why will the company or if uh, on my own uh, mm. You know my laptop or yeah. using my own software why would i go for uh, penetration testing yeah. well yet i may be in a comfortable uh, situation I'm, I'm like i'll just use the most uh, you know recent deploy latest security uh, technologies uh first of all it's all in the it's all in let me say it's all in the mind okay uh, as in it's all in the mind mm -hmm. everybody thinks they're secure right. until they're hacked mm -hmm. So I, everyone, <laughs> everyone thinks like, for instance, eh, uh -huh. a, we actually offering a, we actually offering a, a breached mm -hmm. uh, kind of thing. We, we we are telling people to call us. Eh? Mm -hmm. We check if their mm -hmm. username, their passwords have been mm -hmm. breached. Yeah. So if you give us a username, your your email, we can actually check if if it has been breached, and we give you the report. For, oh really? Yes. My my password is not just enough. It's not just enough, honestly. Because for instance. Eh, I, wow. I, for me, a few months ago, mm -hmm. I discovered I was breached mm -hmm. through a company called Canvas. Mm -hmm. So immediately I had to change my password, look for ways I can be able to remove my, my username on the dark web so that I can be secure. So then what, what are the measures to ensure there's maximum security, yeah. there's maximum privacy yeah. when it comes to my own email, yeah. email account, or just even my phone? Yeah. Per oh, se. Number one, okay, okay I hope let's, this one let's will be... Let's handle the email part. The email part. Yes. I hope this one will come out wrongly, uh -huh. but I believe um, Google monitors everything. When I say everything, it mm -hmm. literally monitors everything. There's no way I can be anonymous. There is, mm -hmm. but not with Google. Let me just put it out there, but not with Google. Okay. Google monitors your home, your office, and that's why when you get home, you can actually get a, a beep on your phone like, uh, should we set this as ho work or home? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. So I've it monitors everything. Before. So as, as much as you want to be anonymous, mm -hmm. Google is not the way. Mm -hmm. Secondly, for an email, you need to put a really, okay, I tell people to write a sentence as their password. A sentence plus hashes, full stops, the exclamation mark, the quotes. So like my, my Wi-Fi password I can actually give, eh? it's mm -hmm. actually I love my wife so much. But inside that statement, mm -hmm. there's an O for an at, everything is actually kind of like a code. Wow. Yeah. 
a whole statement. Yes. Okay, okay, that goes well, that goes well. And so, uh, what, what happens to the phone? What about our, on like phones? Yeah. How do we ensure like we are not like, uh, there's maximum privacy, mm -hmm. like no one can track you, like mm -hmm. where you are, what are the submissions? So just, uh, just give us uh, some of the measures we can take. Uh, the first measure is always use a VPN connecting to the internet. A VPN is just what a, is a VPN? It's a virtual private network. Okay. So if you if you're using data bundles, eh, mm -hmm. you can log in through the private network and gives you access anonymously. So mm -hmm. your IP address can be like you're in Kenya, but when you're browsing, it mm -hmm. detects that you're in Russia or in your US or in China. So there won't mm -hmm. be any DNS leaks. Mm -hmm. So the more DNS le leaks there are, mm -hmm. the more unsafe you are. Okay. Because right now, during the mm -hmm. COVID-19, eh, mm -hmm. uh, hackers are idle. Let me just say that. They yes, are so idle. And the, the more idle they are, the more damage they and do. And people are actually, right now, learning how to do the, yeah. the work just to get the money. Yes. Like right now, every link you find on the web written, uh, discover COVID-19, isn't actually the actual uh, link. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, a phishing page for you to actually click to give them your information. Okay. Yeah. So... Uh, so every advert you see is not just an advert. There's something behind the advert. So guys should not just click on any Do advert. not just click on anything. Be sure you know everything you're clicking. Okay, yeah. that is a lot of information to just uh, consume at once. So we spoke about VPN on our mobile phones. Yes. Now, any other, uh, any other way to cap that? No, just try to find uh, an antivirus, let me say. It doesn't help that much per se, mm -hmm. but it tries. It really tries mm -hmm. so that in a, in a form, if somebody sent you a rootkit or a mm -hmm. malware, mm -hmm. you can, it, the antivirus can be able to detect. After detecting, it will tell you uh, there's a hacker trying to access your system and you'll be able to click no or switch off your phone. Yeah. Okay. So what are some of the things to consider to, to get the most out of security testing? For mm -hmm. instance, for a company yeah. or someone who's just wanting to secure their work and mm -hmm. they're working from home. Uh, the most important actually is data. The more sensitive data you have, mm -hmm. the more necessary it is for you to, do, to run a penetration testing. Mm -hmm. if, your, if your data deals with clients, mm -hmm. uh, clients, uh, I mean, um, let, me, let me give an instance for a bank. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A bank contains users, mm -hmm. people, their passwords, their mm -hmm. money. Meaning the three category actually tells you that we need a security team. Or the, in the background, in front line, or even just an, you just hire another company to just continue doing the penetration testing because just having a, a security team in your company doesn't mean you're safe. Mm -hmm. At the same time, hacking is not just in technicality, mm -hmm. it also informs of the way we speak. Oh, really? Nice. Yes, like for example, like I, I can tell you because I didn't do anything wrong. Eh? Okay. Uh, there was a day uh, I saw a picture on the net, somebody just placed a picture with their work ID. So what I did, I just took a photo of it. I created my own ID. How? See, you just print and you edit using uh, Photoshop. Oh, okay. It's as simple as that. <laughs> and then, the, the next day I tried to see mm -hmm. if the receptionist or the people around can actually detect that I'm oh, not part. part of the So I just walked in and I was like, I'm a new guy. And the people were like, oh, karibu, karibu. They opened the door, everything, and I was in. And then I went and told the admin, I'm sorry, but I'm not part of your team. I'm sorry, but I just wanted to try. If you saw me with this, you can actually give me access. And the IT guy was actually good. He was actually good. He was like, eh, Buddha, you have done everything. Just come. He, 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 he actually gave me a contract and then mm -hmm. told me to walk away. Yeah. Oh, wow. So it's not just in, it's actually been in our conversation. I can, I can get a lot of things from the way we speak. Mm -hmm. By what you love, I can detect the, your browser history by all that. Okay, yeah. so it goes just beyond just sitting behind the computers. It goes beyond. Okay, so what would be the advice for any company that looks uh, will coming to you yeah. uh, f seeking for help? What are the measures that uh, you start off by giving to them, like the process? Oh, the first one is uh, not all, the first, the, the first thing I tell them is not all penetration testing is actually good, as in, in terms of uh, carefulness, mm -hmm. you can try to hack a system and it's going to damage their system. So that's number one rule. Okay. Secondly, when you're doing the services, we will have to find a time whereby people are not working. Like for instance, like right now where people are at home, in the weekends, at night, we just find a loophole. 
the keyword is just fine in a loophole whereby mm -hmm. we can't damage the system but at the same time we can actually be able to test the system mm -hmm. yeah so uh, but we have two workflows eh? we have uh, have have my assistant is called freddy Kwengo, he's from coast eh? right. for him he's a black hacker that one you can't lie he's a what he's a black hacker who is that uh, he's just a, he's, he's my assistant we work with him no the, the title the black hacker yes it, um he used to let me say he used to but right now he's changed mm -hmm. he used to just go into system for the fun of it just for the fun of it right mm -hmm. now he he does it for for the community to give back to the community so for him he works with the administrators the best. Mm -hmm. There are two there are two types of testing we do. There is mm -hmm. the black box testing and the white box testing. Mm -hmm. The white box white box testing is whereby uh, my team works with the system admin of the company slowly by slowly. While in the black box, mm -hmm. I'm actually outside the company trying my own way to get into the system. Ah. So we do like two type of tests. Okay. Me outside, him inside with administrator. So it gets harder when they're patching the system while I'm trying to hack it. So the more I'm trying to hack it, it gets harder for me. Mm -hmm. So it gives an assurance of good security. Oh, wow. Yeah. So uh, when it comes to different uh, uh, careers, yeah. for instance, for my, for my, like my career, like mm. I'll show my portfolio, my previous work and everything. Yeah. So when it comes to you, I'm so sure you've worked for so many other clients, but I, I have uh, this scenario here. Yeah. Have you ever been in a situation whereby you decided like, you know what, I'm going to hack this company yeah. and then I'm going to come back and tell you like, you know, what? your system, they're very weak. Mm. So you guys should hire me and I'll be fixing things here. Have you ever been, have you ever done such a thing? I've been tempted, but no. <laughs> <laughs> I've been tempted, but no. Because number one is um, mm. there is law concerning it. Mm. And I have a beautiful family. I can't just leave my beautiful family to go to jail. Oh, yes. Uh, you know, so yeah. I need to think of uh, a lot of scenarios. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't just leave off my family. So um, it's either I be patient, mm -hmm. I call them. If I see a flaw, mm -hmm. like the, the small flaw, I usually call them. Mm -hmm. I don't do anything. I'm like, hi, I think you have a flaw in this area. So please fix it or somebody will fix it for you. Mm. As simple as that. And then I just, if they want to call me again, it's okay. If they don't want to call me, I'm, I'm not trying to do marketing at that perspective. You're that credible enough. Yes, I, I can't. I can't because I understand. Uh, if I, if I go to jail, there's no point. There's no point. I can That's earn true. money uh, in white in white hacking than in black box, but still different. Oh, uh, right. in I, I get you. Not mm. desperate measures like yeah. this kind of decision. This yeah. So let's look at like the time frame. How long, like approximately, like time frame when you're working on a particular uh, company yeah. when looking at their cyber security um, how long does it take like a time frame oh, it depends with their system okay the let me system, just say like okay. It, okay. like for the last one I don't want to, to mention the company the last one you were handling with uh, they were using Windows 7 Windows 7 has been compromised mm -hmm. so it won't even take me uh, an hour it will just take me 30 seconds and around 30 minutes and I'll be in their systems mm -hmm. you know so it depends with the kind of system and measures they've placed. All right. I have a question uh, mm. before we wind this up and probably you give us more information and now yeah. people can reach out to you. In a situation whereby we have had so numerous cases mm. of electric, uh, electric fraud mm. and uh, if you are to like, get in, involved and mm. sort out issues, mm. is there a situation whereby you can uh, identify who actually did uh, the, the, cyber, the cyber nini attack? Oh yeah, I have, I, have, I have somebody else who can do that. Mm -hmm. It's forensic. Okay, so forensic it's different. investigation. It's it's part of it, but it's kind of different. All right. Yeah, but there are two perspectives. Eh? There is the forensic, and there is the reverse reverse engineering. Reverse engineering is whereby whatever was placed, you can be able to take it, look at the code, try to find out who actually created it. Okay. Yeah. So at the end of the, at the end of it all, you just go back to the person who actually and just pinpoint is them. involved. Because most of them actually carry the MAC addresses and the IP addresses, so it will be actually easy to locate them. Okay. Yeah. All of us, you were, all those terminologies mean, but we'll oh. be taking long day here. Guys, <laughs> 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 like it so we can follow us across all our social media platform. That is at Y254 channel. Mm -hmm. Head on to our Facebook page. We have a question for you there. Make sure you uh, you give me uh, your thoughts pertaining that question. At Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social media platforms. So right now, Samuel, yeah. I'd like to find out how people can get to you, reach out to you, and uh, across all the social media platforms, your website also. You can get to us through Facebook. Okay. It's Sky Family IT Consultancy Limited. Also on Twitter, Sky Family IT Consultancy. And on YouTube, Sky Family IT Consultancy. It's still the same. Generally, still the same. Uh, and if you want to check if your, if your emails have been breached, oh, email, yes. us, e email us. us through the website mm -hmm. or through Facebook. Okay. Yeah.
Oh, so we have to, okay, it's okay, we will email you, we will reach out to you, yeah. we need to find out. Because all, I was thinking, like, yeah. password, password is just enough, but it happens, it's, it's not. So guys, back at home, make sure you stay tuned, another interview will be coming your way. And uh, this time around, we'll be heading to mm, 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 the food sector, so it's all about uh, yummy, yummy meals coming your way. So we'll be talking about the food industry, so make sure you stay tuned, because uh, you don't want to touch that out. Right now, we're going to a musical break, but we'll be right back.